Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gathalion and welcome back to Borderlands 2. I've been revisiting Borderlands a lot in my off time, uh, away from stream. I feel like I got a lot of it back in the day day when Borderlands was the primary content on both of my channels. Um, I, I miss the game from time to time and go back and play a little on my own because I do feel like as a streamer you should have what I call your offline game. Um, but that's not really what I'm here to talk about. I want to talk to you guys about Borderlands 3 and what I am hoping it is and is not. And I think it's something that I'm going to be talking about a lot leading up to whenever it is announced and whenever it comes out. And also going to be talking about a lot when Battleborn comes out because I am going to be playing a lot of Battleborn uh, as I do like Gearbox software quite a bit. And I'm hoping that they're going to do a good job with that game. Um, so, as you guys know, I play a lot of Destiny, uh, <laughs> a lot of Borderlands fans, not, we're too happy about the switch over to Destiny, but that's for another video. Um, there's a lot of talk of Borderlands 3 becoming, uh, Destiny-like, which I'm not sure is the best choice for Destiny, or for Borderlands, rather. Um, a lot of talk about it becoming an MMO, a lot of talk about it becoming a shared world shooter where you're just running around and there's other vault hunters running around and you know this got me to thinking is that is that really the flavor that i want inside of my borderlands do i want to get some destiny inside of my borderlands and you know the, the short answer is no i i love some destiny i love some borderlands but i don't i don't think the two really need to mingle i think borderlands is special for what it is you know i may not have been in love with the pre-sequel but the series itself, I think, is pretty great. Uh, pretty fucking unique. It's its own thing. It has a little bit more Diablo flavor than World of Warcraft flavor, and I think that works better uh, for Borderlands and uh, and the way it's supposed to play. So, um, no, I, I'm really hoping that Borderlands isn't a full-on MMO-type experience or even a as close to an MMO as you could get with Destiny-type experience. I know Destiny isn't a full-blown MMO, but... Uh, it's damn near close with a lot of its systems. I don't think token systems work out well in Borderlands. I don't think the kind of complex raids you see inside of Destiny work out well in Borderlands. I just I just don't think those elements work well in this universe. I think it's better suited to remain a Diablo-esque kind of game and continue to be the thing that I love. Um, and I'm really worried that Gearbox might have seen uh, the success with Destiny, and as many of you people want to say that it's a dead game and unsuccessful, you're very wrong. It's made a lot of money, and it still remains to be very successful and will probably be successful for the foreseeable future and continue getting better. But I really don't want to see Gearbox emulate um, the same thing that, uh, that um, Bungie did with Destiny. I don't want to see him do that. I want them. I want to see them make the game that I know they can make, and that is a basically Diablo shooter uh, that's over the top. I would like to see some enhanced online features in Borderlands 3. Absolutely, I think that should go without saying. You know, I would love to see, um, like, you know how when you go to Sanctuary, it's just filled with NPCs and shit. I, I think it would make sense if when you went to the hub town, it would be filled with. Uh, with not 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 just NPCs but other players, I could I could see that being the shared part of the world where you could get together with other vault hunters and make your own groups and go off on missions and quests and stuff. But I don't think it makes sense to have the entire world littered with vault hunters. I would really like to see it more segmented um, as it is in Borderlands right now. How do you guys feel? And you know, on top of that, I I used to really really bat for uh, Borderlands to get some some player versus player action in it, but uh, I don't think that has any place in the Borderlands universe. We have duels and duels are pretty broken. You know, Gearbox should stick to Battleborn for their competitive mode and, you know, leave Borderlands where it is. They don't, I don't think we need Battlegrounds and shit inside of Borderlands. That's my opinion. Really interested to see what you guys have to say about that. That is not a bad com, but I think I've got, what do I have right now on this character? This is my, it's my old Max character. I need to get back to playing this, a legendary ninja com. So that's where I stand on that, man. I'm excited for Borderlands 3. I want to get back into the series, uh, but spend a lot of time in Destiny. It feels good to go, quote unquote, back to my roots on occasion. I find it hard to stream the game 
Uh, because so many of my Destiny folks have never really seen Borderlands, and I like introducing them to it, but then I have a hankering to play my endgame characters, and they're just like, What's going on? What is this? How'd you get all this gear? You know, it's... A lot of you from the Borderlands community were along for the ride from day one on Borderlands, so you get it. Um, but anyways, that's my thoughts, man. I kind of wanted to get that off on video and see how you guys felt. What do you What do you expect from Borderlands 3? Do you want it to go more MMO or do you want it to be more Diablo? I think it. I think Borderlands be, belongs with the Diablo than the MMO, more so. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you back inside the Borderlands.